guys welcome back and hello if you're new my name is Sarah I'm so glad you're here today's video is the first cozy spooky video of the year and it is my what's in my kids boo buckets or just in general a little boo bucket haul for you um, I have not only my kids boo buckets but I have also started to include my husband's my mom's and a giant boo bucket over here for my friends and so it has slowly evolved from just my kids into my whole entire little circle of love loved ones but that's okay because I love doing it if you've never seen me before hello my name is Sarah and I have been doing gift guides for years now since my little babies were wee little babies and now they are seven and ten and so I hopefully and most likely have a gift guide for the season that you are currently in if you're looking for some ideas not only just for boo buckets but for also for Christmas for birthdays for Easter for Valentine's Day back to school literally if you can think of it I probably have a gift guide for you and again not only just for my kiddos but for your significant others your friends and your families everyone you know and love in your life um, I probably have some ideas and gift guides for you I will link um, in the little card above my playlist and in my catalog so you can take a little gander of all the different years now let me just tell you I think I've topped my boo bucket year this year I am very excited I have so many good ideas they're so cute and these ideas would work perfectly not just for boo buckets but also for stocking stuffers and kind of ideas just to bounce off of um, that's a lot of things that I like to do is find one thing and kind of evolve it from there when it comes to gift giving because I take a long time and um, put a lot of work and effort into my gift guides not only for you guys but also just being intentional with my gift giving to my friends and family. So I can't wait to share with you guys everything that I have. All right, we are gonna start with my kids first and then we will work out to the adults. But the first one we are gonna start with is Eleanor and she is seven. And the first item I got for her is this really adorable little mirror ball ghost pillow. I got um, him at Home Goods for $9.99 and I just think this is absolutely adorable. I love the bright magenta. Um, I haven't bought the girls new Halloween decorations for their room in years and so I felt that it was due time to buy them one. So that's gonna be so cute on their beds. Next, another plush. Both girls are gonna be getting a um, Squishmallow. They love their Squishmallows and this little keychain and this is Lester. He was $4.98. Each girl is also going to be getting a article of clothing that's Halloween themed. Eleanor loves a good cardigan as much as I do and love a good cardigan theme. And I have one that looks just like this and she thinks it's super cute and she still thinks matching is cool. So I decided to get her one that looked really similar. It's super, super soft and cozy, really adorable. She wears Halloween clothes, both girls do, but mostly Eleanor, um, for every day of the month of October during the school year and she dresses in Halloween themed and so this is going to go right in and fit perfectly with that next if you guys have been ever at any point watching any of my gift guides you'll know that I always try to include either books or an educational item in any gift guide I do for my girls and this year is no different so Eleanor's first two books um are pizza and taco dare to be scared she really loves this series I we've been reading it now for almost a year I think she loves it super super cute if you have kiddos that are a fan of like Mo Willems or Pigeon um, and love like uh, Piggy and Elephant Pigeon all that stuff and love like kind of graphic novel or comic book style books this one is for you it's super super cute um, really easy definitely a little bit more complicated than you know like Piggy and Elephant but not by much um, and this is fun and silly and she really loves them. We've been collecting a number of them now, but she does not have the spooky one. And then a one that's a little bit more challenging is this Diary of a Wimpy Kid Double Down. This is number 11. She really enjoys Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies, but didn't start reading the actual series until this past summer. And she is not a reader. She does not enjoy reading and it will be the last thing I do in my life if I can get her to enjoy reading <laughs> anyway um, and she actually really really enjoyed reading Roger Rules even though she's seen that movie millions of times but I think that kind of helped because she kind of knew what to expect and so um, she wanted to start getting more and collecting more and renting more from the library so I ended up picking up this one for her um, she never reads them in order and you don't technically have to but the reason that I picked up number 11 is because Halloween takes place during this one but if you've never seen any of the Diary of a Wimpy Kid 
kid books. They take place from Greg's point of view. Um, they are all like little journal entries and he has like little handwriting in there with cute little illustrations. They are super cute and simple and silly as well, um, but a pretty decent challenge for her, for her reading level. I'm also including this really cute little um, Sanrio pen. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. This cute Sanrio pen, it's just a multicolored little clicky pen. Um, the girls love their pens. They love bringing them to school and bringing them to friends' houses, like they collect them. And I just saw these, and technically this is completely summery, but it's too cute to resist. So she's getting a little Pachaco pen. Both girls are also getting a Halloween themed cup. Um, I had purchased some from Target that were $3 and I ended up returning them because I thought the quality was just really, really, really poor. And I ended, up, I ended up finding these from Walmart for less than $3 for $2.97. And I just think they're so cute. They're plastic little tumblers. I need to wash all the cups, so ignore all the dust and grime on them. Um, but there's a little cute pink ghosty tumbler with a little bamboo sealed lid. And these feel like they're still kid kind of size cups and there's a pretty good seal on it so i feel like it'd be okay as far as leakage and spillage for the most part but they still feel like cool and adult, adult like so um she is getting one of these as well as some cute little straw toppers um i found some of these on amazon and then some of these at target i found a huge pack of little hello kitty ones um on amazon and so i have a lot more to add but i put this little witchy on in her basket directly and then i found these at target today for only a dollar and the quality is so good the cups were horrible but the straw toppers are fantastic so i got her this cute little like frankenstein candy corn for a dollar i just thought it was so cute i always include stickers and in just about every gift giving item for them now because they love them so much so for eleanor she's got a giant pack of Diary of a Wimpy Kid stickers. I thought these were really cute and I know that she will get a kick out of them and enjoy them. So those are her stickers. They're not technically super Halloween-y, but still fun nonetheless. All right, we are moving on to jewels, which is Eleanor's favorite subject. I decided to pack all of them in these cute little organza bags with these little backers, just to make things a little bit more cohesive. It's absolutely too extra, but it is super fun and cute. Um, first things first are these really cute little ghosty danglies. These are from Bleak to Chic. Um, and these are from one of the small shops that I was talking about, but they're just these really adorable little ghosties. And I just think they're absolutely so fun. And I like that they're a little bit more demure, not like mine, but you know, they're super cute and perfect for her, not super heavy. And then I also have these two and I can't decide which one I'm going to give her. I have this set of like jack-o'-lantern and little almost like treat bags i don't know they make me think of the leaf bags um that I, we used to have in the 90s they would fill with a bunch of like all the fall leaves and you could like have scarecrows and jack-o'-lanterns and ghosts i loved those and i think that these are so cute so we have those and then i have these which are also freaking adorable and they're like little retro mcdonald's halloween pails and i think i'm gonna go with these for her because my kid loves a good happy meal <laughs> And they're just so cute and fun and they just seem like Eleanor. So I think I'm gonna give her these ones, but let me know if you decide or if you think I should change my mind. Anyway, I have those. And then I also, I got each of the girls a Sanrio themed Halloween necklace. And Eleanor's favorite is Pom Pom Pirin. So I got her a little Pom Pom Pirin jack-o'-lantern. He's such a cutie. I meant to get a new chain because I hate the chains these come with. Um, and I totally ran out of time. So, if I can remember before I gift them. If not, they're getting these chains. And I can change them later. Next thing is Eleanor's obsessed with monograms. If you guys watched her birthday haul, you would know. <laughs> she loves things. I think they just feel like unique and cool and special to her. And so I have bought this freaking necklace three different times. I've returned it by accident once, lost the second one, and I'm finally giving it to her. Hopefully it makes it to her. This is the farthest I've gotten so far. Anyway, but it's this really cute little bobble E necklace. This thing is a chunky and it's heavy. Um, it's super freaking cute. I love it and I think she's gonna love it and I want one. Anyway, I think this is an anthropology dupe. I got this off of Amazon. You can find these suckers everywhere, um, but I believe it's an anthropology dupe. I don't know. 
Um, however, it's super cute and I like the quality of it. Um, and the reviews say that it holds it pretty well and doesn't tarnish, so we will see. Next thing, oh, one of my earrings fell off. I got her these set of pearl hoops that are gold and have these little pearls on them, but one fell off, it's a little backer, but it looks like this, can you see that? And then it was hanging next to it. And then I also got her this really nice gold bracelet that has an E on it as well to match her E bobble. This sucker's heavy as well. I don't know, I'm excited for the quality. It was nice, and so um, she's just gonna be all monogrammed out with her cute little E's. And then I just love these little pearl hoops. She's gonna love this. This is totally her vibe and style, and I think she's gonna be so excited for the monograms. All right, moving on to beauty items. Last year, this year, three years ago, every holiday, my kid loves fake nails as much as I love fake nails. And I got these at Marshalls for $4.99. They were Halloween themed. I got these like back in like July. I don't know, it was early. Um, but they're just super cute and they're fun. And these just give like classic Halloween with the purple and the greens and the oranges. They're just super cute and fun and a good size for her nail beds. And then I picked her up this lip potion. So we've been reading Harry Potter. Um, started with Ollie and Eleanor's been like tag teaming in with it as well. It has been so much fun. I am like beyond elated to be able to share this with them finally. Um, we waited till Ollie turned 10 or almost turned 10 to have like her Hogwarts here kind of thing. Anyway, that's not important. She Glam has a Harry Potter line and I've tried a couple of things and really liked it. So I saw that they had these lip gloss little potions and so I got the um, love potion and it's just so pretty it's a nice hot pink clear basic gloss but it's a little potion I just thought it was so cute um, so since we've been reading it together and it's like wizard and witches and you know magic I felt like it was perfect so this is hers and then I also got each girl a pack each of they get to split this is in a pack of Laura Mercier lip glosses and each of them are gonna split one um, I think I'm gonna give this one to Eleanor. It's in the color Baby Doll, which is a really pretty Laura Mercier gloss. Um, and then, last for um, beauty stuff is Vampire Blood Body Wash for Bath and Body Works and the Shimmery Fizz, Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion. They've had this thing, I think, for a while, or no, it was crackling. I don't know. I don't know. It's been around for a bit. Um, I figure, I feel like it like blew up randomly last year on TikTok and stuff. Um, but they were having the best sell. It was like four bucks for each of these things. So I stocked up for us and I stocked up for Halloween. Um, so I got her vampire blood. So she has a little lotion and then the little body wash and it smells so good. I love this scent. It just makes me think of Halloween. And then last but not least for Eleanor is I have... Um, since we've been reading Harry Potter, Miniverse came out with Make It Mini Potion series. And these suckers were hard to get my hands on because they kept selling out, but I finally managed to do it and I was so excited. So I can't wait to um, make these with the girls. <laughs> I'm so excited. But you can make all different potions. I love it. I love it so much. So this is their like more fun toyish item. All right, that is all for Eleanor. So we're now gonna kind of zoom through Ollie's because they do have a lot of dupes. Ollie also got the pillow, but hers is silver. And then she also got a pink cup as well as Lester. She also got a mini first Harry Potter magic potion maker. And then her two books, she has really, really enjoyed the Judy Moody series. She's constantly checking them out from the library. And so um, I found this one. This is the closest to spooky that I could find or Halloween themed. And it's Judy, and Judy Moody Instinct, which is her brother. They have their own little separate spinoff series and it's the big bad blackout. And so it's supposed to be kind of like spooky. Um, and they, I think they tell like scary stories at one point. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute. Again, she really, really enjoys this series. Um, it's really fun for her and it's cute. So I picked this one up and then I picked up this one. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that Ollie really, really enjoys graphic novels. And I was trying to find one that's more kind of Halloween themed and I found this one, which is Sorceline. And it's about a, um, 
sorceress or a what is she an apprentice at Professor Archibald's Balazar's prestigious, prestigious school of cryptozoology. There's a lot of tongue twisters in here. But anyway, it's full of magic and sorcery and potions and like just friendships. I love it. I think it looks so cool. And I think she's really gonna love it too. Um, and it'll be like really fun and kind of like spooky, but nothing too scary. And this is a whole series. So we'll start with one and see if she likes it. But I just thought the illustration was super beautiful. And since we're reading Harry Potter and she's like into like magic school, I think this would be kind of fun to kind of add on to that. So those are her two books. For her Halloween themed clothing item, I found this Hello Kitty t-shirt from um, Walmart. This was only like four or something. $5.98. Um, just a cute little Hello Kitty tee. She is a lot more selective now with her Halloween apparel and um, she likes it more girly and like fun colors that are pink and purples, not as traditional orange and black. So found that one, thought it was perfect. Next for her jewels, um, I made this little stack that I just thought was so cute or put together this little stack. Um, we've been really into like bracelet stacks and stuff like got some on right now anyway and so i thought this was so cute together um again this isn't technically like halloween but i found this like little gold bobble one and then this little basic pearl one and this bow one that's so sweet and then this bow embroidered one i found a lot of these i feel like these are like the cool new bracelet to have i don't know i have no idea i'm just saying that <laughs> but i found a lot of these and i just thought this little set together is absolutely adorable so little fun stack bracelets and then i also picked up this bracelet again it's not halloween themed but i thought it was still really pretty it's this like little almost like charm bracelet and has a little bow and there's flowers and stars and little beads and i just thought it was really really pretty and it has a little clasp in the back she's got a lot of necklaces um, but she doesn't have a lot of bracelets, so I'm trying to expand. I feel like she enjoys wearing bracelets more than any other jewelry. So I'm trying to expand that. Um, and then this is her Sanrio Halloween necklace. She, of course, has my melody. I love these. I think the actual charm is so cute. I just need to change the chain. Such a cute little charm. And then I also have little straw toppers for her. Her Hello Kitty one <laughs> is a kitty cat so cute and then um another cat another black cat um i found this one at target and i love them these are like good old thick boys too they're so freaking cute anyway um i got her a black cat and these are only a dollar they're such i'm like really impressed with the quality of these <laughs> straw toppers anyway so i got her too and like i said i have a bunch more of the sanrio hello kitty ones so i may just throw more in this little bag anyway but for now that's what they have and then we also have these. These are her Halloween earrings. These are her little Mew Mew earrings. They're little Mew Mew ghosties. Aren't they so cute? Sorry, she calls cats Mew Mews. Her cat earrings. They're little cat ghosties. Ugh, oh, I think they're so cute. They're a little acrylic. I love them. Um, and then these are from the small shop. These are from Chester Creations. And they're these really beautiful, like, mirrored floral cat silhouettes. And then these really pretty pink floral. Oh my gosh, if this was, this is Ollie, like to a T. They're so pretty and so dainty. Um, I just couldn't resist, I had to get these. And then I picked her up a pen and she got um, Pachaco. I could not think of his name, Pudding Dog. <laughs> anyway, cute little Pachaco. And then she has a bunch of Sanrio stickers. We've been through the like we have so many Sanrio stickers, but she loves them, so we have more. Um, and then I got her this little kitty cat claw hair clip, although I'm sure that her sister will want this one more, but still super, super cute and fun. And then she also has a Harry Potter themed beauty item, theme lip product, if I can open this. I have this and love this. This is so pretty, um, but it's a, like lip balm glitter lipstick and it's like black which this is probably gonna catch her off guard <laughs> but 
but it's so pretty and if you put it over like a gloss or a red berry color or on its own it just gives this beautiful like hint i just oh my gosh it's one of my favorite products plus the packaging is stunning it has a bunch of like herbology print on it and mandrakes just like oh my gosh such a pretty thing um anyway I love this product. I use it all the time. And so I thought, pass one along to her as well. And then I'm gonna give her this Laura Mercier lip gloss in the color Macaron. This is perfect for all you, oh my gosh. Anyway, just a pretty pink, baby pink color. All right. Oh, and then last but not least for Ollie, we have these Ghoul Friend um, body products. So she has the Shimmer Fizz Body Lotion in Ghoul Friend and then the Body Wash in Ghoul Friend. This one's like plummy. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so we are moving on to my mama. And real quick, a little insider trading tip. <laughs> An insider tip is buy your basket secondhand. I got that at Goodwill for like $1.19. Um, baskets are so crazy expensive. And if you can buy it secondhand, all the better. Not only because you're reusing something, but also it is so much cheaper check thrift stores first before you go buy a basket. Okay, first things first, like everyone else, they're getting a cup. Um, my mom last year, I think I got her a mug. This year we're going for a cold cup, a little tumbler action. Um, and this is, I just couldn't resist. It's it's Snoopy, she loves peanuts and the great pumpkin Charlie Brown. Um, and Snoopy's a vampire, absolutely adorable. This was $12.99 at Home Goods, a steal. Um, and then I got her a cute little ghosty uh, straw topper off of Amazon, but should check Target because I also found a little ghosty topper there and he's just a cute happy one. Um, for her clothing items, because I also got her clothes, um, I picked up this really cute flannel from Walmart, the Time and True line. It is so soft and cozy. She doesn't have any fall flannels and I just think this is so pretty. This would be pretty on Thanksgiving, just like casual Thanksgiving. It's gonna be cozy during fall time. She can even move it on into winter and Christmas. Like I just thought this was so nice. So I picked this one up for her, super, super soft. I have, have no recollection of the price because for whatever reason they don't put their online prices on the tags. Um, so I don't know, but really cute not super expensive and then if you guys know if you ever hear dog barking you hear this thing barking he's not a chihuahua he's a men pen but this is the identical vibe and look of this dude his name is titan my mom treats him like a little prince he's the love of her life now that my dad passed away he's a huge case of little man syndrome little doggy syndrome love him but you know you know Anyway, she would die for him. So those are her socks. <laughs> um, I picked her up a, a Bath and Body Works body wash as well. This is Vanilla Romance. Um, I'm wishing that I got her the lotion as well because on like cold sniff or whatever they say, that's for candles, whatever. Smelling it in the tube, it smells pretty generic. It smells actually just like Vanilla Bean Noel, which is super great. But when this, you actually like have it on, there's so much more like depth to the smell. There's like um, cardamom in it and woods. Oh my gosh, so good. Highly recommend this scent. Um, if you have anybody in your life that really enjoys vanilla, I think they would really, really like this one. There's just more depth and like sophistication in it. Anyway, I wish I had got her the lotion because I didn't think I'd like it as much. Little man syndrome. I got her this cute little mushroom gnome. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that my mom collects gnome, gnomes um, after my dad passed away. She just thinks it looks like him. So um, I picked this one up for her. When I ordered online, I should have read, it's my fault, she read the description. I thought it was gonna be a bigger dude. You know, I thought he was gonna be like this. He's a little guy, but he's a cute little guy. So that's her little gnome for the season. And then um, last but not least, I got into the habit and by habit, this is full-blown addiction at this point. I mean, it's not that bad. Take that with a grain of salt. But I, I threw my money at it constantly. It's wonderful. I can't stop. Whatever. Again, take that with a grain of salt. It's not that bad. But I will watch for hours in the background during my day the jewelry review videos on TikTok. It is so relaxing. It's so entertaining freaking obsessed okay I have since purchased a number of items whatever it is what it is it's been over a year 
you know this has been over a year but i've been saving it for this next year for her um this is the bomb party or bp halloween stacks um i got this last year and saved it for this year's boo bucket anyway have i since purchased more yeah but you know this was last year so whatever i know what bp is i know it's an mlm fully aware fully transparent but the jewelry is so freaking cute and it's so much fun so it's my money anyway so this is the scarecrow sparkle stack and it comes with like um a bunch of different little bracelets uh but mostly this little second middle bracelet right here has a little scarecrow pumpkin charm and i just thought he was so cute my mom's birthday is in november so she's a little november thanksgiving baby and she was born on thanksgiving back in the day um and this just made me think of her i like the colors it's so folly and pretty um and not exclusively halloween my mom's basket's a lot more like fall than it is halloween but still anyway love it i think it's so cute um and then i found these earrings and i thought they matched that perfectly they're not the best quality but that's what it is anyway um they're still cute and i thought that they matched these were not from bp i found these online um but they're little leaves little maple leaves and i just thought they were pretty so that is my mom's cozy little fall basket so we're moving on to Jazz's, um, and there's two things missing. One I'm still waiting for to come in the mail, and one I have to go by the store tomorrow um, because it's like a beverage-related item. But I will still tell you what I'm including. So um, the first thing, his is a little bit lighter because he doesn't like all the, you know, I mean, he doesn't mind it. He likes it, but he's not looking for like a little gnome or like a Halloween pillow or anything. But um, I did get him a article of clothing. Um, if you guys have been watching me for a bit, you guys know how much he loves Hell Divers. <laughs> and I found this at Hot Topic, and obviously this is not Halloween related at all, but he's going to freaking die. He's going to love this so much. It's so cute and funny. <laughs> so I picked this one up for him. Um, I love Hot Topic. I still love it. I loved it when I was a teenager. I still love it today. All right. And I have had such great customer service with them um, and such good luck with finding tees for Jess. Anyway, I did also get him a cozy pair of sockies and uh, he loves the Grim Reaper, but he likes the Grim Reaper like being like a satire version, like silly and funny. And I found the <laughs> I found these socks that's a Grim Reaper on vacation says take it easy and I died I immediately had to buy them um, I got these at a small shop for like $13.99 but I think you can find this brand online um, it's called groovy things and I just they're so funny and so I picked these up for him he's gonna love those um, and then I also picked him up a set of beautiful glasses um, because he used to have a cup too. I got him a mug last year. So like everyone else, I wanted to get a different kind of cup this year. And I got these off of Amazon. They had really good reviews. And these suckers are heavy. It's in a set of two. Um, they were super good price for the set of two. Uh, again, they're dusty and gross because they need to be washed. But they're skull glasses. Skull, like raised skull glasses. And I just thought these were so nice and be so good for his fireball, which is his favorite. And it's the thing that I need to go pick up at the store tomorrow. So I gotta go to the liquor, liquor store, but he loves fireball. He's still like a college kid anyway. Um, and so I thought these would just be nice to have his little, his little fireball just chilling in there. Cause he likes to drink it. Like it's a aged bourbon anyway. <laughs> um, but these, these suckers are heavy and they're nice, thick gla gla glass nice thick glass a really nice quality um but these are two because it comes in a pack of two you could easily gift these like to separate people like fill it with some goodies i don't know i just really like these and i think he's gonna really like them um and so now he has two little glasses and like i said i'm gonna put a fireball with his and then um i also always get him cologne for uh his boo bucket and it hasn't arrived yet but um it's burberry brit it's burberry brit season it's burberry brit london those are the two ones we normally get right at the start of fall and this time i, I think i went with burberry brit um nothing like it it's an oldie but a goodie and then i also picked him up at bath and body works body wash this is the min collection single barrel bourbon this stuff smells so good oh 
like fancy man you know it's like the axe chocolate which i think smells fantastic but it's axe this is like a sophisticated like fancy version of that like it's not it doesn't smell cheapy but there's like a sweetness to it but then the smokiness and you can smell the bourbon good lord this one's a good one it's like super highly rated too nice a nice masculine scent um, I don't know what that accent is. Anyway, last but not least, he has a little yummy goodie. He loves, um, like, the cream cheese block, and then you put, like, a jam on top or, like, a jelly. So we found this um, from a small brand, and it's Terrapin Ridge Farms. Um, and it's mango habanero jam and it had incredible reviews and ratings this whole brand does and so he loves mango and habanero um, we used to get this mango habanero cheese that they don't make anymore it's from Wisconsin and it was the best it was so good they don't make it anymore um, and so now I find try to find mango habanero flavored things and other <laughs> other items um, and so this is the one that my mom and I found um, when we were at like little little small shops around the area that is it for jazz and now we're gonna move on to the big kahuna which is basically a basket for three people so we're gonna start with the food yummy goodies they love to try out new foods and cook all the time so we found these soup mixes which i feel like is such a good idea if you are doing boot baskets and you know someone who enjoys cooking as well these are from frontier soups i think actually my mom picked these up on amazon uh these are enchilada soup mix and tortilla soup mix because she's adding some boo, bu uh, boo bucket items as well in here. Um, and these look fantastic and delicious, and I know that they'll get used. Um, and then we found these in that, like, when we were doing a little small shopping, and they're called Wicked Minis Seasoned Snacking Crackers. They're like small oyster crackers, and these are the chili cheese flavor. There was a bunch of different flavors that they had, um, but they had samples, and these were super delicious and yummy. These would taste so good on chili or soups. Um, I do think this would probably be something pretty easily that you can make at home because they're just oyster crackers with some seasoning but still they're delicious and uh, I know that they'll appreciate them um my mom is the best baker and sweet maker that I know and she makes homemade peanut brittle and so she made a big old bag for them um and then we also picked up this Terrapin Ridge Farms hot pepper peach jam um, just like Jazz has the mango habanero, we're giving them the hot pepper peach. They again also like to have it on like a uh, block of cream cheese. They host parties all the time. And so that's something that they can use for that. And then um, I picked up this set of napkins from Anthropology. These are stupid expensive, but they were so pretty. And they have plates that are like black and white. Um, and are like spooky themed and just so beautiful and they use them year round and so I thought that they would get so many so much use out of these little cocktail napkins they are reusable they're super cute I wish they came in a pack of like six instead of just four but it's it's okay uh, they match their plates so well and I just thought that they were too cute to resist so I got those and then I also picked up this set of um, or actually, we found these on Kohl's. Um, these are salad tongs or like serving utensils. I was looking for a set of these off of Anthropology or Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel, one of the places that was way too expensive and I couldn't justify justify it and then my mom found these ones on Kohl's and these are such nice quality. They're full metal, um, beautiful. They're so cool. I want a pair. They were $19.99, like full price, but they were like on mega sale, um, or at least a decent sale and not even close to what you would pay at the other places. So I want those real bad. <laughs> um, they love to, like I said, host parties and make fun cocktails. And so they got lots of different types of liquor. So I found this really cool decanter that is a skeleton. Um, and then it needs to be washed like everything else. But you can take this off and I'm just scared I'm going to break it, so I'm not going to do it. But you can take off the top, obviously, to pour, but it's also a shot glass. So you can have a little drink from your decanter, which I thought was just so cool. Um, and everyone recommended, like, a brown, you know, liquor or something or a colored uh, liquor to go in the back so you can see it all. And I would love to do that because that's what, like, they love whiskeys and rums and stuff like that. But 
I saw someone put wine in it and it looked so cool because it was deep red. So I did pick them up a bottle of wine. Um, they really like Cabernet Sauvignon, which is my favorite. Um, and I picked up 19 Crimes and this just looks, this is a beautiful bottle and it, I think it was going to taste really yummy. I've had this before and I've enjoyed it. Um, so I hope they do too. I can't decide if I just want to put it together or if I want to actually put it in the decanter. I don't know yet. I don't know. But that's a decanter. I think that is all for like food yummy items and like kitchen stuff. I did each get them because they have two black cats. Um, we have Mavis and then Bagheera. And so I got them two of the cute little straw toppers um, because they have some tumblers there. And I just thought it was so cute. So that's going in their little basket too. We play games with them all the time, like board games, and they also really love puzzles. And so I picked up this really cool, like, horror movie Halloween puzzle. Um, and it has a bunch of, like, retro kind of, like, design and vibe of it. And just memorabilia and movies and merch and posters. And I just thought it was really cool. It's a thousand pieces, should so it should keep them busy for a good chunk of time. And I just thought it was really awesome. Uh, Amazon has such cool Halloween puzzles. Um, so I picked that one up for them. And then the last like mutual item, and then I got them each individual stuff. I picked up this little adopted ghost. I couldn't resist. I was seeing these all over and I couldn't resist. And so you get your little ghosty. He's so cute. He's like made of wool. It's absolutely adorable. And then it comes with its like little death certificate. And then on it has its name and like date and so cute. I love them. So they love little knickknacks. So I got this for them. But I think this would be super cute for some kiddos. And like, you know, they each get their own little ghost that they get to adopt and he comes back every Halloween um, just to keep them company and stuff. I think it would be so cute. It's kind of like Elf on the Shelf vibes. Um, anyway, adorable. I love it. Okay, so now for fun things for individual items. Um, I picked this up for my brother, actually. He loves good good jewelry. He loves some jewelry. And um, for the past couple of years, I've been gifting him some, like, really cool, like, Viking. If you guys have looked back on my some, uh, some of my last number of gift guides, um, really cool, like, Viking jewelry. And I found this, and I just thought this would go so perfectly. It's stainless steel chain with two little skulls on either end, and then, like, I don't know what type of wooden beads of this, but it makes me think of like obsidian. And I just think it's so cool. It's nice and weighty. The reviews are fantastic. Um, the only, I didn't take off the plastic. The only thing I'm concerned is that it's pretty small. Like it's, I feel like it's a small wrist size. Um, so hopefully it fits. I don't think they had sizes on there. And I didn't, I took too long to check to see how big it was and so I think my return window is tired but we'll see it's really cool hopefully it fits and then um they all really love socks but somebody in particular is obsessed and so I bought them three pairs of socks I found these Hot Topic socks these aren't particularly Halloweeny but they're so funny and fit him so well and they're possums holding knives and I, I it's, it's a very niche type of sock but it was so funny so I picked these up these were four dollars or something on sale um, and I just thought they were really cute and then I bought these two on Amazon um, and he really loves aliens and extraterrestrials and um he loves cats as well so he has an alien on the cat and i loved it and then these are um little spaceships beaming up a little moo cow so i thought those were really cute and very fitting for him and then lastly um i don't have very many people to talk like makeup and beauty stuff with and so it's been so fun getting closer and closer to abby to be able to like talk with her about stuff like that because again no one in my life like they like it but they don't care like it's not a huge passion of theirs and so it's been so fun being able to share stuff with her and i found a bunch of indie brands that i wanted to show her and like share with her and so i filled a little makeup bag with some makeup goodies so i just got this like kind of anthropology style um not anthropology not the store but like 
what is the apothecary that's what i'm thinking of kind of style bag and it's like a corduroy material and then i got this metal um little claw clip which i thought was super cool it's like a skeleton hand love a good claw clip you guys know that and then um i love corpse bride the corpse bride tim burton and again she glam came out came out with the whole corpse bride line so i picked up this buttery beaming highlighter and this um, ethereal ethereal glow lip balm and this is super similar to um the Harry Potter one, it has like a tint and a glow and a hue to it, but it's more of like a deep navy blue. Um, and I just think it's really cool. She loves really unique makeup and um, like darker, bolder looks. And so I just, I don't know. I'm so excited to share all this stuff with her. Okay, I also picked up this, which is from the brand Joycey. Um, I didn't get myself one of these, so I can't show you exactly what it looks like. But the other two items, I did get myself a matching one, so I can show you. But... Um, these are all like indie Asian makeup brands and some of the coolest, most innovative products, man. This is like a really cool cream jelly type of um, eyeshadow. I can't see it. I don't want to open it up. I'm going to save that for her, but it's like almost like a black and it's, it goes on the lid almost translucent, but then it shifts and there's a black and then there's a bunch of glitter. It's so cool. And it's a cream. I don't know how to describe it. It's so freaking cool. So I picked this one up for her. Again, I didn't get myself one of those. And so I, I don't want to open it um, and take that away from her. So I am not going to show you that one, but I did pick up a couple of items from Girl Cult, which I randomly stumbled upon on TikTok from a creator that I really like. She makes the most beautiful, whimsical, magical, ethereal makeup looks. And she was showing off some Girl Cult products and I immediately went and bought some. So I got a makeup palette. I can't remember what this one is called. I feel like it's like fire something or flame or something. I don't remember. Anyway, but it's the same one as this. And one, the packaging is so cool. It's just so freaking cool, man. Um, it gives me like vampire vibes. And then inside, here's the color story. Now, this is like a duochrome. It shifts to green, to blue, to yellow, to red, to gold. Like, it's constantly shifting and changing. And then we have a pretty matte red and a brown. And then this kind of um, glittery black, pearly black with some red. Um, so beautiful looks beautiful on the eyes really really fun to play with they have a bunch of different color stories and again the packaging is just so incredibly cool um and so i picked her up the same one and then i also picked her up one of these which is like a lip gloss glaze stain thing <laughs> it's like a hybrid um again packaging just so cool i think my nose is running that is so cute i can't remember the names because they are in Chinese. Unfortunately, I cannot read Chinese. Um, but basically, they have a bunch of different, like, like you look at this and you're like, that's not, you know, it's like a gray, blue, green. You're like, that's, I don't know if that's for me. But it gives this coolish, like, wraithy, whimsical, ethereal, magical vibe, okay? And that's all I'm about. It's not the most natural, most wearable, everyday thing, but if you like to look like, magical this is the one for you which that's my vibe all the time so um and the packaging is just so cool anyway highly recommend girl cult cult girl cult girl cult i can't wait to try more um of their products and i really really hope that she likes everything i'm so excited to gift it to her i've been like planning for months about all the different ones i wanted to get her and try and i don't know share with her so i think she's really gonna like it Oh, the last thing, he, he, he got away. I found this little bookmark skeleton pin. So he's a bookmark and he's a little skeleton, but he's also a little pin. So if you like annotating in your books, um, or, you know, highlighting, underlining, whatever, making notes, he just like sticks right in so you don't lose him. I thought that was so cute. 
We also got him in that little shop as well. And we're just gonna put this in here. It's like a gift for everyone. They all love re reading. So I thought this was so adorable. This There's a whole line of these and I wanna buy more um, because I think they're so brilliant. So, all right, that is officially it. Those are all the items and all the little spooky and fun and cozy boo basket. And that brings me to the end of this video as well. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for being here and being so consistent and just supporting me and wanting to see these long-winded videos of me yapping about random items. I hope this gets you warm and cozy and excited for the holiday season that is approaching. I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.